Hi, this is Patrick Clayson with Ecotech Marine. I'm here at Palooza 2016 in Orlando. trade show and we're excited to be showing the Ecotech products that we're currently offering and here is a red sea tank and what we're demonstrating are two XR15s um, we've got the RMS mounts on these as well as the Vortec pumps these are called the Radeon lights and we also have a Vectra return pump powering this aquarium so the really interesting thing and the cool thing about Ecotech products is they work as a complete system. Here we have lighting, which not only has a perfect spectrum for, for the corals, but is balanced and controllable. So during any typical day on the reef, lights don't just turn on and off. Our lights go via a schedule that you program with your phone to slowly come on over the course of the morning and then peak during the middle of the day. And then in the late afternoon, slowly dim down so that your corals receive the natural type of environment that they would receive within in the wild coral reef. Now, depending on the type of coral you keep, here we've got a mix of acans and some, some soft corals. It's a typical mixed reef, so we're probably gonna go with a little bit cooler of a spectrum. Right now, we're running something about 14K, maybe, maybe 15K, and we're able to keep the brightness at a little bit of a lower level once new corals are introduced. Now as this reef tank matures, we're going to increase the intensity of lighting. Maybe we add some small polyp stony corals and what we can do is increase the brightness and possibly shift the color spectrum if we're using corals that are more typically accustomed to being closer to the surface of the reef in the wild. So the radion lighting is, is very nice because it allows us to have a, a mounting system which is very sleek and manages the cords above your aquarium. Now this system also adapts for different size tanks. You can adjust the light forward or backwards and if the light is an XR30, you can actually rotate the light as well. So next I want to tell you about the MP10. The MP10 is the smallest of the Vortex series. They come in three sizes, the MP10, the MP40, and the MP60. Now the MP10 has been around for a while, but last year it received an upgrade to Quiet Drive. So all of our pumps have this technology which is built in and allows us to run the pump at a very quiet decibel. It's barely a whisper. And that is true whether it's on constant speed mode or you're pulsing it. Now all of the quiet drives come with basically a circuit board which controls the motors themselves and using these dials you can control the different modes so we've got different types of settings, you've got constant speed, you've got short pulse, long pulse which is also known as gyre mode, um, reef crest random, lagoonal random and we've even got eco smart modes which really vary up the flow. Now, flow, as we all know, is very important in reef aquariums because corals, being stessile invertebrates, can't breathe for themselves. They don't have lungs. So we've got to push the water past them, but do it in a natural way that's going to improve the health of the coral and simulate the environment that they have in the wild. So the MP10, um, as part of the Vortex series, has the same technology where you're seeing the pump run here with no holes in the aquarium. There's no holes in the glass. Yet, we're pushing water like you would have currents in the ocean. So, as you can see, we're running this pump right here in constant speed mode, and we have a pump on the other side which is running in pulse mode, and it's pulsing as fast as these LEDs are, are, are flashing right there. So the Vector Return Pump is a new product from 2015 from Ecotech, and this product is very cool because it's a brushless DC controllable pump, and it can be completely controlled via all of our apps as well as EcoSmart Live. And this pump, while very quiet, produces a lot of flow and is very reliable. So it comes in two sizes, the L1 and the M1. The L1 does 3,200 gallons per hour at its maximum flow rate, flow rate and the, L1, the M1 is 2,000 gallons per hour or 7,500 liters per hour for all you all in metric. 
So the, uh, it produces 21 feet of head and it, has, it comes with a, adjustable adapters and quick connect adapters. So the other cool thing about the Vectra return pump is the fact that you can calibrate this specifically for your aquarium. So once you set it up, using either the controller or the app, you can set the minimum speed level so that when you're turning the knob down or putting your pump into feed mode, you're actually stalling the flow of water in the pipe. You're not shutting the pump down. What this allows you to do is not create a back siphon when you're putting your pump into feed mode and you're feeding your fish or you're doing maintenance on your tank. That's important because you don't want to create micro bubbles in the system. And when you fully empty the plumbing, air is going to get circulated by the impeller which would cause micro bubbles to come up and then be in your main display. Micro bubbles are problematic because they stay around for a long time and they're difficult to get out of the system once they're in it as it's being stable. The other cool part about this pump is that we, max, we calibrate the maximum speed as well. So if you crank it all the way up to 10, then you're not going to overflow the plumbing or overwork the plumbing in your aquarium possibly causing a, a problem in your main tank or main display. On top of all that, if there's a problem with the power shut off or the, the pump stops working for some reason, you'll receive a push not notification right to your phone. So we're covering all the bases, enabling us to have the smartest return pump on the market. One of the cool things about Ecotech with the ReefLink is that you can connect to e EcoSmart Live, which is both an app for Apple or Android phones, as well as a website. And right here, I'm connected to our aquarium in Pennsylvania. Now, if we want to control our radion here, you can see in the background a, an image of our tank. Now, this is a live video stream using a, a drop camera, a nest. So if I want to control this tank in Pennsylvania from here in Orlando, I can do that and I can basically just select the color of the tank and you can see it changes in real time here. So I'm controlling the aquarium from a distance. So if you ever need to make any changes or to your settings, whether you're locally in your house or you're traveling, you can do that right here. Where that becomes useful is with the return pump and you can get push notifications to your phone about these changes. Also for customer service people to troubleshoot an aquarium problem uh, from a remote location is also a, a useful, useful item. Now here you can see the program for our main display tank in Pennsylvania. Now if I turn on the, the drop cam, I can see what does our tank look like in the morning. And so we have a, a deep blue morning and the lights are a lot dimmer. And as we come up to the middle of the day, we're using uh, radiant color mode. So we're really at a nice, even, balanced 14K in the middle of the day. And then in the afternoon, you're gonna see a sunset, which is coming in a little bit more blue and, and really showing the fluorescence of the colors. We've enabled our, moon, our, our, our lunar settings. So right now it's a full moon. So that means that the lunar settings are gonna be at the maximum intensity allowed by the software. And then off into the night, you can see the aquarium shuts off and good night little fishes and corals. So all of this works together so that you can create the most natural environment for your aquarium. We can also control a live demo of the pumps. Now it's a little bit more difficult to see this in a streaming view, but I can turn all of our pumps or individual pumps here, device one, device two, or all pumps, and I can control the speed and constant speed mode, or I can control the pulsing in short pulse or long pulse mode. And we can return it to schedule right there. So far today, we've covered the Radeon lighting, our Vortec pumps, and our Vectra return pumps. And this really creates the current ecosystem for Ecotech Marine products. Now, Ecotech completely focuses on the saltwater reef aquarium industry. We started as aquarists ourselves, so we were able to design products that really meet the needs of the saltwater reef enthusiast. And whether it's our lighting that's custom designed to have a full spectrum that meets the needs of the corals, down to the very little details of the mounting systems, as well as the design of our pumps. We focus every bit of our effort on creating a complete system and a system that enables a customer to have success. And so we really hope that you consider our products and uh, enjoy the, uh, the hobby of reef keeping wherever you are.
So this is Patrick from Ecotech Marine signing off. I wanted to say a special thanks to Richard from Aficionado for coming out here and covering our products in this event. Uh, it's a beautiful day here in Orlando and we're hoping good success for you and your reef in 2016.